All right, we're back. Search could open up more of a Kingla to settlement in time. That's all settled then. About to be an attack. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. Oh, I intend to. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. No way to run a business. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I, I need help. Okay. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look, I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. You want me to talk to him? But this? I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. 
Yep. How did I know that was gonna happen? things on my plate right now so unless this is important I'm gonna have to ask you to come back some other time well ain't that just about the last damn thing I need right now oh is she after going off and doing exactly what she was told not to she's concerned now she made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Like what? Been tracking Ashta for a long time now. <laughs> suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. Probably not a coincidence. Maybe it would, but right now I don't give a damn about her data. Now, I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You want to join me? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Give yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. Alright, well, I'm ready. Just keep your gun holstered during your stay. Be good in my book. Give me some time to get to the gates. I ain't as nimble as I used to be. Head out there. Let's do it. Okay, then. <coughs> Close to me, keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it, and maybe we'll get some answers. He's moving at a brisk pace. You know, I don't understand why games do this. If I'm walking, he's too fast. If I'm just regular running, he's too slow. Match up the speed. This is what I'm talking about. These tracks, they're all wrong. The space and the depth, it just doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm literally waiting on you, Sunshine and Rainbows. But he does have a, you know, a very valid. The technician should have done is came to him and said, "Hey, you know, your methods work. This could help. You know what I mean? You know, not. This, this is going to take away from anything that you guys the do. Are clever, but they're usually predictable. These tracks don't follow any of the paths I expect you know, them to. Try to work it together. Just doesn't add up. Looks like the tracks head this way." Instead of working in conflict. What? Find anything useful? Got to mimic the Ashton. Why in the world? Shit! You hear that? Eyes up! We got incoming. Well, let's get it done. Nice bit of work. The wrong side. Yeah, they're really not that strong. I've, I've definitely talked or fought things tougher than that. Stay close. Stay safe. You know how to handle yourself. 
Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Again, not my first bro day ho. Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? No, I expect not. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. I need to check this over, see if I can find some more details. But while I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. Sir. I am a free star ranger. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? Yes. He's... <clears throat> he's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Damn it! I thought I deleted those. Look, 
People getting hurt was never part of it. Part of what? Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. You're lucky, Bailey. If it was me, I wouldn't be so lenient. Well, you know what they say. So you want to the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Have we gotten done? Like, we should. What are like, three. I know I've used up all my oxygen more than three times. Would someone really tamper with the data in the I think this one would be so hard to master. to really take it all the way to like the end of the CO2. Brother-in-law just got back from two. Yeah, I guess so. Weeks in Paradiso. Place looked amazing, but I have to look at one more vacation photo. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? You serious? Oh, Bailey, what were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's gone crazy. Well, I'm gonna have to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much, not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. Alright. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Wait 24 hours again. You could do a bubble effect, a bubble effect. Uh, cause if my understanding is you can play as uh, the Crimson Fleet, like as the, the bandits in this game. Uh, I was like, man, did I make a horror mistake jumping up here? But, uh, okay. We need to be smart. Let's be certain to stock up on some extra a long cycle. before we explore the goods in the surrounding city. How have you been? Staying out of trouble? Never. A 
suppose you could. Things here have been... Well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to con... Nope. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of... I don't know... Pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. How I know it was gonna lead to us going to go, to speak, go to speak to him? To him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Yeah, I can talk to him. I got done talking with him, but I'll go talk to him again. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. It happened. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Oh? <sighs> that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I'm down. I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. I, I was keeping right on me. All right. You know, Keone showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right. It's just a glitch. And uh, no need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. Got walk in a random I direction. I remember a story from the first time I was here on the Kiko. And totally forgot. Until we find something big that wants to eat us. Every so often, we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. More than just don't get there. Most of them don't come back. But this one time, miner from some corporation or other, he drags himself back into the city bloody and half dead. He seen an ash as big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything. Just listen to him. 
As big as a house. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss and heat stroke. Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? It's not as big as a house, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. I I did. I had not a single worry. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. There's no way we could allow that to happen. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? We got out alive this one time. That's good, but this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Oh, don't worry about me. Thanks again for saving my ass. I mean, just point me in the direction of him. I go kill him. You know, I, I would do that for for this guy. 